Still can't believe there's not one breath of wind. This is a very rare moment in New Zealand, guys. We're barely, barely get no wind. How good are these views? Woohoo! What is up guys? So I've made it to the west coast of North Island. Um, I arrived at a little town a couple days ago called New Plymouth and today we are doing parts, a part of the track to Mount Talanaki. Um, it is, the, what, the track that we're doing today is only an hour and a half so it's fairly simple but the actual summit to Talanaki is like like six, no it's like eight to ten hours return so it's a quite a quite a big track and it's quite high up so it's like 2500 meters so won't be doing that today Probably a bit hard to see, but the weather is actually so perfect. Right over there is Mount Tongariro. So that was the hike we did a couple days ago, and we can see it from here. I still can't believe there's not one breath of wind. This is a very rare moment in New Zealand, guys. Barely, barely get no wind. How good are these views? Made it to the top. Okay, so right here, um, this, you can actually get a lodge uh, right behind me. So it was an hour and a half up to this hike, but you can stay in a lodge here overnight and get up to the very summit early in the morning if you wanted to. I reckon this would be an amazing spot too to get the sunrise um, and sunset, but the views around me are just crazy. How good is this? Such a nice area. It really wasn't that hard of a hike, um, but that was actually the easiest part until this area. So once you start hiking up to the summit, that's where it gets real hard. But I'm not doing that today. I'll probably not get around to one year, but um, so hopefully we're heading back down soon. And I think maybe if I get enough time, I'll do the other hike to the lake. See if I can get the reflection. So I'll see you there. Okay, so plans have changed. I didn't end up going to see the Mount Taranaki um, reflective lake because the weather sort of turned out pretty bad. It was getting too cloudy and it was just not worth seeing the lake if it was too cloudy. So, and over the next few days, it's just bad weather as well. So I just decided to leave. Uh, but if you ever want to visit that place, it is amazing. Like the photos of the reflective lake, if it's on a good day, it's so nice. Um, I'll show you right here. So right now I'm in an area two hours north of New Plymouth. Um, apparently this area where I'm now is a really good spot to see glowworms. So when night time comes, I'm gonna check out the glowworms probably 30 minutes north of where this campsite is. Um, hopefully I can sort of see them with my camera, but I'm gonna, 
I'm gonna take my camera and see if I can, I can actually see him. But, and then tomorrow I'm heading off just to see some more waterfalls and doing more hikes. So we'll see if I can see some glow worms tonight. Oh, ooh, <laughs> that's nice. Look at the nice guy. Yeah, there's um, there's glow worms there somewhere. <laughs> Can't see it though. <laughs> Damn right, I want to go in. This is cool. <laughs> whoa, where are we? Oh, whoa. Ah, yeah. oh, that's cool. You can catch this? With I, I can see it. Ah. I can see it as spots. <laughs> ah, so you, you can catch them. Alright, so I've made it back to the same bushwalk track. Um, I come here last night to check out the glow worms. Uh, I tried to film it, but I couldn't really see it too much in my camera. So, um, yeah, we're going to check it out today because it actually seemed like a pretty nice track. But, yeah, there was a few glow worms last night as well. Um, but this area... Uh, around this area is like the famous sort of um, spot to see the glow worms. Uh, I don't really know the name of it, but I'll put it in the video. So to do the paid glow worms costs, I don't know, I think like a hundred or so dollars. But usually you can do like in a, on a boat or, or there's another one you can pay to do um, where you go on a tube and you just go through the river in the cave, which would be pretty cool. But this one right here, is the free one if you want to check it out at night is well worth it um, but yeah we're going to see what the track's like during the day
Okay, so I've rocked up to a beach on the west coast. Um, I don't quite know how to pronounce this beach, but this is it right here. Uh, but this is a very special beach because it is a hot thermal spa beach. So essentially when it's low tide in this area, um, you can dig up the sand and if you dig deep enough, you get really, really hot, warm thermal water. Um, so we're going to check that out, see if we can make a um, jacuzzi, a jacuzzi beach spa. And yeah, I think there's like another one too up sort of north. So I think in a couple more weeks when I head up that way, I'll check that out. But yeah, let's see if we can make a beach jacuzzi. Woo. Ah, okay, this sand is really, really hot. Woo. Well, that was a lot warmer than expected. Some of the areas got up to like 50 plus degrees Celsius. It was so hot. I could barely even like put my feet down under the sand. But that's it for today, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you ever get around to this area too, definitely dig yourself up of a beach jacuzzi because it is so awesome. Um, but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Follow your dreams, escape your comfort zone, and I'll be seeing you on another adventure. And I am going to go cool myself off and jump in the ocean! Woohoo! Gotcha!